Okay, so now we're going to go through a truss, and actually a truss calculation. Pretty simple truss, um, just a triangle truss with a pin right here, a pin right here, and a roller on the bottom. We have a point A, point B, point C. There's 100 pounds pushing down on it. The height of this truss is 60 inches, and the width of the truss is 50 inches. And I'm going to ask three different questions about this truss. Three different questions, and they all have to do pertaining to basically the information given. All right. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the question. And the question is, what is the length of member BC? What is the length from here, from member BC, member BC, which is from here to here? What is the length of this? Well. I would think, I would hope, that when you're starting to look at this drawing here, you obviously see that there's a triangle. <clears throat> you have a you have a triangle up top here, and you have a fifty point two degree angle here, and you have fifty inches and sixty inches. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take this drawing we have I'm actually just gonna I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna move it just to get it up out of the way, slide it up so we can make a little bit more sense of it. So I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna put this over here. Okay. Maybe scale it down just a little bit. Put it up in the corner. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is we're going to come in and we're going to do just a little s simple truss and triangle calculation. So we have this truss right here, which is essentially a triangle. So I'm just going to redraw the triangle, but I'm going to put it down here. Okay. And we're going to write down what the information is we have. So we know that this length right here is 50 inches. So this is also 50. We know that's 50. We know the height of this right here of, of member AB is 60 inches. Okay. And we know that this angle right here that they give us is 50.2 degrees. Okay? And this goes back to force vectors that hopefully you checked out before you checked out this video. Um, it goes back to finding and using the SOH CAH. T O A Sokotoa. Okay? Sine, cosine, tangent. Sine, cosine, tangent. Three three different formulas there, all in one little sentence for us. Or actually word, whatever you would call it. Um so let's identify what we need to find. They're looking for the member B to C. So they're actually looking for this length right here. Right here. They want to know how long this is. Well, I would hope that when you look at this triangle, you know that's a right angle, they told us, you can see that this is the hypotenuse. That's the hypotenuse, and we're going to be using this 50.2 degrees. We're using this 50.2 degrees. So this 50 inches right here is the adjacent. It's the adjacent because it's actually next to. 50 degrees, 50.2 is next to the 50 inch member. Okay? Well, which one of these has adjacent and hypotenuse in it? Well, there's cosine has adjacent and hypotenuse. So we're going to use cosine. We're going to use cosine to figure this out. So cosine 50.2 equals adjacent value 
which I'm going to put just as an X, as a placeholder on, and then H. And what we're going to do is we're going to come in here, and I'm going to change that X to our actual 50 inches. 50 inches. All right. And if you don't know this already, don't know this already. Uh, the nice thing about when you're trying to find the actual denominator, you can take this value and this value, and you can switch them. Now you can't just switch them just because I say you can switch them. But if you do the um, the multiplying of this over here and then you divide this you're basically essentially just taking this cosine of 50 this variable right here and you're switching it with the denominator right here so you can do that it's it's a just a simple trick um, much easier than going through and actually showing all that work you can just switch them okay so that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna flip those guys I'm just gonna flip them so I'm gonna erase them and I'm gonna flip them and I'll leave that arrow there just for a minute so you can see so the cosine of 50.2 and this is our hypotenuse okay so it's gonna give us our, our hypotenuse now again like I've said in many other videos, when you're putting this in, the, in your calculator, you need to make sure that you are in degrees. You cannot be in radians. If you're in radians, you're going to get a wrong answer. And there's really nothing we can do for you if you put it in your calculator in radians and you get a wrong answer. And what you're going to find is that hypotenuse value right there, when you put it in your calculator, comes out to be about 78 inches about 78 inches okay so that's one question that they might ask you they might ask you to find just the length of a simple truss and it's no more than doing it like the like a vector using sine cosine tangent um, but instead of using the force like a vector you're just using your inches it's the same thing it's just a value and you can find that hypotenuse alright so that's that's that question the next question the next question they're going to ask you is what is the force exerted by member BC? What is the force exerted by member BC? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to erase that guy that we just did I'm going to leave that sine cosine tangent there because we're going to be using that. We are going to be using that. And you know what? I'm going to leave this here also. I'll leave this here. I'm just going to erase the stuff that had to do with the last problem. Leave this here. Okay? Because we're going to be using it again. All right. So. What is the force experienced by member BC? Well, what's pushing on member BC? When you look up top, we have 100 pounds. That's a, that's a force that's being exerted. That's what they're telling you. So there's 100 pounds pushing down. There's 100 pounds pushing down. Well, the nice thing about that 100 pounds, isn't this 100 pounds, isn't it the same thing? Is something hanging off? That's 100 pounds right here. Sure, it's just it's the exact same thing. So we can just take that 100 pounds and move it. We can move it right down. It's the exact same thing. It's still there. It's still in the right direction. It's still acting on the same point. It doesn't really matter if it's sitting on top or on the bottom hanging. It, there is no difference. There's no difference. So I hope now you're starting to see uh, where we're getting. Where we're getting. Um, we're getting something. We have 50.2 right here. Let's just do a quick calculation to figure out what is that angle right there. What is that angle? And the easiest way to do it, 90 minus the 50.2 and you get 39.8. 30 
9.8 degrees. Okay? And again, if you if you missed it, these these are complementary angles. This guy and also this one. So they both add up to 90. So 50.2 plus 39.8 equals 90 degrees. They're, they're complementary angles. So we can do that. We can we can find that out. Okay? So I hope you're starting to see something right here. What I'm going to do is, again, I'm just going to redraw this. I'm going to redraw this to see uh, just a little bit bigger for us. Do so we have member BC right here. Member BC, we have 100 pounds. going in a downward direction. And because it's 100 pounds and it's down, I'm going to make it a negative. Make it a negative because it is going down. They're telling us it's going down. And we know that this angle right here is 39.8. 39.8. Well, again, like I was saying, I hope you're starting to see where we're going with this we can make a triangle right here and what they're looking for is the force of member BC right here they want to know what this magnitude is well do we have another magnitude that's acting on it sure we do we have this hundred pounds right here we have this hundred pounds okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna erase this since we have it redrawn over there now alright and what you're gonna see is again just like vectors we're going to use that same sine cosine tangent to handle it pretty simple pretty easy a um, lot, lot of these force vectors these trusses relate to each other in the same in the way that you do them so in this triangle remember BC is the hypotenuse and we have the 39.8 which we're going to use we have the negative 100 pounds which is again the adjacent in this case okay well Again, adjacent hypotenuse, we're going to use cosine. So cosine of that 39.8, okay, 39.8 equals the adjacent, which I'm just actually going to write it in there. I'm just going to write it in. 39.8, we have a 100 pounds which we're going to put as a negative over the hypotenuse right here alright um, and right now he, he here's a key here's a key we don't know if member BC is in tension or compression now they're gonna ask us it here in a minute they're gonna ask us so we're gonna assume it's in tension when it's in tension the arrow, arrow is going this way okay it's going that way so we're, we're assuming, we're going to assume it's in tension. And if we get a negative, what's going to happen is, is, is it's going to tell us that it's actually in compression. All right, so again, just like last problem, we can flip them. So we get H equals negative 100 divided by the cosine. Cosine of thirty nine point eight. And when you do it, you figure it out, you get you do negative one hundred divided by the cosine of thirty nine point eight and you'll get a negative a negative one hundred and thirty pounds. Negative one hundred and thirty pounds. So there's a hundred and thirty pounds being exerted on member BC. Hundred and thirty pounds being exerted on member member BC. You can't have a negative hundred and thirty, but the negative is telling us something. It's telling us that our initial assumption of tension is wrong. Telling us our initial assumption of tension was wrong. All right? So 
what the last question that they're normally going to ask is member 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 BC is in what and they're asking is it intention or is it in compression and because we got a negative we assumed it was intention and because we got a negative it's telling us our initial assumption was wrong and we're in compression we are in compression so let me just write that out so we are in we have I'll just do this BC is 130 pounds and we are in I'm just gonna put comp for compression we're in compression all right hope this helps and uh, again if you need to go back just feel free to go back and you can